Welcome along to action from the Boodles at beautiful Stoke Park in Buckinghamshire. It is day five, the last day of this wonderful event, and the lineup is full of interest and intrigue. There's British hopes, fiery entertainers, former top 20 players. There is a little bit of something for everybody today. And we wouldn't want it any other way. It is a home battle. We kick things off with Marcus Willis, who we saw in action yesterday in a narrow defeat to Albert Ramos Vignolas. Can he have more luck today against Liam Brody, a player who has won twice already this week here at the Boodles? And these two players know all about one another. They've met many times on both the, uh, the Challenger Tour and the Futures Circuit. And indeed, in Wimbledon qualifiers, they've met as well. That was last year, and uh, Willis won that one. In fact, the two grass court meetings out of the eight head-to-head uh, -head meetings these two have had, the two grass court ones have gone the way of uh, Mr. Willis. That's the way to kick things off. Well, Liam Brody has had an excellent 12 months. He's risen more than 200 places in the world rankings. Uh, it is a run of form that has earned him a wild card into the main draw at Wimbledon next week. So he will be uh, full of uh, enthusiasm and optimism for what's to come. Two tie break sets. If we do get that one set all, it's a 10 point match tie break. Would you like to call head or a tail? Uh, Liam wants to call you tails. Um, Would you like uh, to call head or a tail? Yeah, I'll go tails. You said before, I want tails. That's why. Tails. That's the last time, mate. Yeah, I'll receive. Okay, so uh, Liam Brody winning the, the toss and he's swapping around to the other side, and Marcus Willis says, okay, then I'll receive first. This is the first of four matches on this court. This is the, uh, the home battle first. Then we have former world number 18, Andreas Seppi, making his bow this week up against a former quarter-finalist at Wimbledon, the ever-entertaining Bernard Tomic. So that is our second match of the day. But up first, Marcus Willis taking on Liam Brody. Well, he has uh, a lot to look forward to, Liam Brody. He has a really tough match coming up at the, the first round of Wimbledon. Milos Rajnic, the uh, the big serving Canadian. It is uh, a wicked draw, but you know, I'm sure it's one he will be uh, licking his lips at. Rajnic, the world number 13 right now, but uh, he is always uh, a very dangerous customer at Wimbledon. Liam Brody will fancy his chances of making it tricky for, for Milos Rajnic. The 24-year-old. Of course, his sister plays on the, the WTA tour, Naomi Brody. They have regularly played doubles together. He is a gutsy competitor, a good athlete. He's had such a good time of things at Challenger. And a futures level of late, ranked 175th in the world right now, just below his career high of 158. He has me making the odd step up to the, the top level events. But the thing for Liam Brody is he'd love to do that with uh, more consistency. 
and do that more regularly. That's when the, the big points and the big money really starts to, to roll in. It is always a good time watching Marcus Willis. He's played twice here this week. He's lost narrowly both times in a, in a match tie-break situation. He lost to Malik Jaziri earlier this week. The Tunisian, that was on Wednesday. He lost at 4-6, 7-6, six, uh, six, and then it was 10-6 in that match tie-break. Then again, he lost to Ramos Vignolas at 11-9 in that match tie-break. But he's a player who's very awkward to, to face. He, he does make it difficult for his opponents. He loves to serve and volley. So we will see that with regularity, I'm sure. It is what he's all about, and he will do so with a smile on his face as well. He's rapidly becoming a bit of a favourite here. The man who had such a good run at 2016 Wimbledon. That will never be forgotten. Winning six matches to qualify for the main draw of the, the championships. He then went on to win that first round match, that upset against Lithuania's Ricardis Barankis. And then guess who? Roger Federer, yeah. Playing in the second round. Lost out to the Swiss Maestro, but many players have. Here he is again, the main man, Ted Watts, in the umpire's perch. One of the umpires doing a, a fantastic job here this week, all the organisers. It's all been a, a fantastic event so far. There is a little bit of wind about. It's not quite as windy as it was yesterday, but it is just as sunny. Perhaps it is a smidgen hotter as well. 24 degrees centigrade right now. That's very clever. Slap it on. And there are other ways to cool down as well. So I mentioned it is Andreas Seppi up against the ever-entertaining Bernard Tomic up next after this one. Third up sees Sergei Stokowski, who first played at the Boodles in 2013, take on uh, Tanasi Kokonakis, uh, one of two Aussies on the order of play today. And last but not least, uh, our very last match of the day, and of this week, in fact, sees James Ward, uh, London-born, Davis Cup champion, take on Vasek Pospisil of Canada who you might remember won the doubles title at Wimbledon uh, with Jack Sock in 2014. So it is all there to look forward to today. As uh, Marcus Willis and Liam Brody just go through their warm up before they kick off this afternoon's entertainment. So here we go. It is Liam Brody to kick things off. He will serve first. The sun is beating down on this pristine grass court. Sit back and enjoy. Should be a really good last day here. Some fans just <laughs> arriving late. No worries. We'll wait. We're in no rush. <laughs> ready? Okay, everyone's ready now. Yeah, and the weights didn't do uh, Liam Brody any trouble. Right on the money with that first serve down the tee. He 
it is a big opportunity for Liam Brodie next week. He has only played at two Grand Slam events before, each at Wimbledon. So once again in the main draw at Wimbledon, it is a, a massive opportunity to earn big ranking points to get uh, big money as well, the kind of cash that might just help him plan out the rest of the year. Often we think that uh, top tennis players that we see on our TVs have everything handed to them on a plate, travel and accommodation, but at a certain level, they, they have to really sort it out for themselves. It's all factored into their costs. And so the main draw of Wimbledon is a big help, certainly, as uh, Liam Brody cleans up that point. 40, 50. Scooped up there by Willis, but Brody waiting. Well, Brody has, as I mentioned, played at the main draw of Wimbledon Speed twice up, before. Right? 2015 is his first effort. He won his first round that year <laughs> against Matasevich. He then lost out to David Goffin in uh, the second round in straight sets. A year later, 2016, lost to Andy Murray in the first round, who went on to win that year. Marcus Willis to serve. It won't be a Wimbledon with Marcus Willis, though. It's uh, not his year. He's uh, tried to make it through qualifying, but he hasn't been able to do so in either the singles or the doubles. just be <laughs> a very delicate touch and this is a, a big match for Liam Brody yes I'm sure he will want to have fun but this is a first well a last I should say competitive outing before uh, he takes on Milos Raonic so he want to get things right he want to get his grass court game into full working order Yeah, yeah, up and running. Whatever you can do, I can do. One game more. It's a delicate start, that from Marcus Willis. Two Brits. We have another Brit later on today. James Ward, our last match of the day. Davis Cup champ. The good news is it has been uh, wonderful weather all week and it continues to be so. We hope into the next couple of weeks as well. Oh, 
15 old. Yeah, losing out the slice battle there. 15, 30. Marcus Willis just making this a little bit uh, uncomfortable here for Brody. It's not quite uh, found his range just yet. Has some break points to save. Duck for cover. Wonderful rally. And Liam Brody getting his reward there for persistence, chasing around. And Marcus Willis, there wasn't much he could do there. <laughs> Catching his breath. One break point saved, one to go. the break and it's the first break and it is Marcus Willis who has it the player lower in the rankings from these two 828 compared to 175 Willis strikes first More and more fans arriving. It is uh, a wonderful day again here on this uh, Saturday. Marcus Willis again will just have to remain patient. Please, please, ready to play. Hello. 
Oh, just uh, skidded on through. Got to Willis a bit quicker than he thought. <laughs> and Brody, well, he might just see a few aces whistle past him when he takes on Milos Reinich next week. Get used to it. That's close. It's a patient rally from both there. Oh, he's got it. That's nice from Brody, and he's looking just to, uh, to hit back immediately here. Good serve. Loose. Made it awkward there for Brody. Sliding out wide. Ace <laughs> number four already for Willis. Yeah, able to save those at break points. That's that little bit of breathing room here, Willis. He'd love uh, to finish off the Boodles this year with a win. Two narrow defeats so far this week. Sorry. I'm behind you, Bulldog. Thanks. Oh, well finished. Had to watch that. Not easy to uh, pick out of the sunny sky, that. Did well. Good connection on that. Yeah. That 
that's too good. Well, he does hold. Liam Brody, Brody he just keeps some pressure on Marcus Willis, who has the break of serve. He leads three games to two in this Battle of the Brits. All smiles at the change event. Oh, that's magical. Very long. Well, he couldn't really have played that much better. Look at that. And Liam Brody is quick across the court. He's got no chance there. Very long. And he is tending to race through his service games here, Willis. Got that too. What an angle. A serving masterclass. Pretty outspoken guy, Liam Brody. He's not afraid to uh, lend his voice to, to certain topics, the likes of uh, gun control, Donald Trump, equal pay for women in sport. He's not afraid to make his opinion heard on social media, usually Twitter. An interesting follow. He does also talk about Love Island, the real topics. That's nice.
well done. Forty fifteen. And there we go, it is another game for Brody. He's just looking to try and keep pace here with Marcus Willis, but of course the the big task for him is to try and break the serve of Marcus Willis, which hasn't looked easy. Time. <laughs> well, he's in danger of a time violation here. Liam Brody just pointing that out. <laughs> Get out, says uh, Willis, and it, the ball obeyed. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> he's done that shot a few times, and that's why Willis saying, oh, he's got me again. Time and time again, that's been the play. It's a good angle on that backhand from Brody.
Oh, this time he has some payback. Look at this. It's a great shot. And a great reaction. Yes. Can't quite get there. Wonderful effort. And Marcus Willis celebrates that point. Liam Brody, well, he was giving it absolutely everything there. It was defensive resilience of the highest order. Wasn't quite to be. A lovely shot as well. He is now just a game away from taking this opening set in this opening match of the day. Winners have just come easy for, for Willis today. It's all clicking into gear. <laughs> Stop it. It's that same shot again. Once again, it's just a carbon copy. Leaving too much space there, Willis. And he doesn't sure that Willis will have to close out this first set himself. And certainly signs oh. that Liam Brody is growing into this set as well.
time. He's in a hurry here. Two double faults now for Willis. Oh, brilliant. It's a super serve. The ace is uh, stacking up. I think it may have just hit somebody, but uh, not too serious there. Set point. It's the first set in the bag Willis for Marcus Willis. Willis. In truth, he has looked the better of these two Brits out here today. He started quickly. He got the break that he needed. And uh, he's pulled away. Six games to four. Is he looking at his first win of this week here at the Boodles? Gets a consoling word, <laughs> does Liam Brody. Here are the stats to mull over. Look at all those aces. Ace count very impressive from Willis. Nine all told, a couple of double faults. But when the aces are that high, you don't mind a couple of double faults. And just the one break of serve did the trick. It is a day for Pims. The champagne will be flowing as well. There is barely a cloud in the sky. Time. I haven't spotted one yet. As this place just fills up Seven. as the afternoon draws on. First of four matches this.
<laughs> just couldn't uh, stay with Brody there. It's been such a, a climb up the rankings for Brody. He's climbed up more than 200 places in the last year. It's been some very good work on the, the Challenger and Futures tours. As soon as he hit it, it was a, a real miscue. doesn't connect with that one at all and it is Liam Brody who gets that first game on the board without too much bother he's always chatting away isn't he Marcus Willis always up to something <laughs> Getting lively here. Was there for the taking for Brody. Slams it into the net. He's made it. A <laughs> striker pose. What a shot that was. It's not a bad uh, approach that from Willis, but Brody gets across to it.
Yeah, and that is the way to snuff out any potential break of serve. One game all. It's another race, and it does level things up. One game all. So impressed with the uh, defensive resilience of uh, Liam Brody. He's missed this one. He is very quick across the court, Brody. Working up a sweat. It is a hot work out there. Close one. Second double fault that for Brody. Excellent finish to that service game for Brody. A few more words between the two. He leads 2 1. Time. Those two are a joke, huh? That second one was yeah, ridiculous. Huh? Did it like go? It's not far, was it, buddy? Like you probably have the same view. Trying to go after that, Brody. Oh. 
Fifteen old. Thirty fifty. Just making it a, a little tougher here, Willis. This has not been one of his best service games. Two double Three, faults in this four. game for Willis. Four all told, and he's quite understandably under the pressure now. Slight neck cord on the way through. Ted Watts spotted it. No! And the nice serve and volley. We actually haven't seen too much of that for a player yes. like Willis, who does enjoy doing that. Sent back with some interest there from uh, Brody. <laughs> and again, and it gets the uh, acknowledgement as well from uh, Willis. Great return, he said. <laughs> Hasn't yet broken, though, Brody. He's had three. Break point opportunities. He's not taken any of those. This is the fourth. And this one he can't take either. It's a devilish serve. just a bit more uh, impetus about this return game from Brody. He's got another break point. Oh. And there we go. It is another double fault and it hands the breaker serve on a silver platter to Liam Brody. That's what he was looking for. It is three games to one. Brody with a, a little bit of breathing room in this second set.
Super serve that. <coughs> and there is certainly a caveat Brody. for Liam Brody facing Milos Reinich next week. You'd think, okay, Reinich, big favourite there. He was building some serious momentum uh, after making the final of the Stuttgart Open, but. Uh, he was forced to withdraw from Queens, was Reinich, due to a, a right shoulder uh, injury. It might have been just a, a precaution to keep him box fresh ahead of Wimbledon. But you never know if that shoulder is not uh, completely healed for Reinich, then Liam Brody, he might just have a chance. But Brody will have to be at his best. Reinich has won five of his Brody last seven matches uh, on the grass courts as Brody fires away another forehand winner. And he leads 4 1. Time. Seats, if you please, ladies and gentlemen, players are ready. So he does have some work to do here, Willis, to uh, close the gap on Brody. Yeah, clinical game. That does the job nicely for Willis. all of the way through. Taz up on the apology. Well 
Sari. Very you know, well executed shot there from Willis. Wasn't much on that approach from Brody, and it was duly put away. Break point. He saved a couple. One still to go. It's too good. Wonderfully executed. Just overcooking that one, Brody. A reminder, we have uh, three more matches after this one. Andreas Seppi against Bernard Tomic. That's uh, coming up at 2.30. Sergei Stokowski against Tanasi Kokonakis after that. And James Ward against Vasek Pospisil. Our last match of the day. Our last match of the Boodles. That's nicely done. Well, he was uh, having to work hard for that, Brody. But he is able to come through, and now he is just a game away from taking us to a match tiebreak. 5 2 elite. <laughs>
time. And it rains it down. Ace number 12 for, for Willis. Chasing after that one, Brody. <laughs> so effective again. Okay. Doesn't get anywhere near that one. It's a, it's a shame we won't see this uh, level of serving in southwest London over the next couple of weeks from Willis because he is so uh, effective on the, the grass courts when he does have the serve firing on all cylinders. Oh, that's outstanding. What's a brilliant touch. And this is the, the level of tennis that uh, Brody is very much capable of. out again it is now set points Brody Sneaking in here. <laughs> Look at where he is. Oh, oh it's worked. <laughs> well, let's see if he does that again. Oh, he's done well to get that back in the first place. Take it. And Liam Brody will sit down with a smile. 
this at all. We are going to a match tiebreak. So these are the stats from the second set. Liam Brody certainly up to his game. One break of serve did the trick. Marcus Willis, he uh, still found four aces. Remember, he did find nine in the, the first set. It's been very effective indeed. But uh, Liam Brody does enough, and we are going the distance in this one. Time, ladies and gentlemen, we now play a 10 point match time break to decide this match. Stayed low. Well, well. And of course, Marcus Willis with two narrow defeats in match tie breaks so far this week. Liam Brody has uh, won two matches this week, both of them uh, in a match tie break. Benoit Pair and uh, Sergei Stokowski. He's met, been able to uh, get the better of in this situation. Ace number 15 for Willis. His serving has been in fine order. Outstanding shot from Brody. Inside out, forehand winner. Marcus Willis can only put that centre court, half court. He gets the treatment.
by Tim Brady. serve has just kept him right in touch here first to ten of course but we do have to uh, have a winner by two clear points Super. <laughs> Zipped on through. That is wonderful. Oh, that looked close. It's a great rally. Finished off with a flourish. One of these standout rallies of this encounter. That's well put away in the end. They were slogging away there. That's good powers of recovery that from, from Willis after a, a long rally to be able to pull out a, a big serve like that. Oh, that's a really good rally again. It's been a 
been some tussle this seven all in the match tie break nothing separating them Seven Brody. Don't Well, he's not convinced that was out. That's what he's asking. Yeah, that's just a way. He gets it. Great rally again. A punching backhand. Picture perfect from Brody. It does bring up match points. Well, there goes one of the match points. There is still one to go. <laughs> and he seals it in style. Well, Willis called it out. It was in by a mile. And for Liam Brody, it is the perfect way to head off to the Wimbledon main draw. He's got that big tussle with Milos Raonic around the corner. And here at the Boodles, he wins three matches out of three. Convincing showing. He looks in uh, fine form, he looks in fine fitness right now. He's played a lot of tennis of late and he looks absolutely match ready for Wimbledon. And he will fancy his chances, why not? Yes, Milos Raonic is the, the much higher ranked player, but Liam Brody could cause some problems and particularly with Raonic uh, suffering with a slight right shoulder uh, injury. As uh, we look at the stats, Marcus Willis, he was in fine serving form himself. Aces 16. But uh, Liam Brody getting it done in the, uh, the baseline battles, really. One break of serve each. And uh, we went all the way to a match tie break. And it was Brody who was able to edge it 10 8. And that does add this. Uh, win to the wins uh, against Sergei Stokowski and uh, Benoit Paire. It's been a good productive week for Brody and uh, he makes it three wins out of three. We have another match just around the corner. Andreas Seppi against Bernard Tomic in about half an hour's time. Set. 
Amen.